What's next for Remedy Games, the studio that brought us Alan Wake and Max Payne? Well, we're here at E3 2018 to find out. We spoke with Anna McGill, one of the game's narrative directors, to find out what exactly the new game, Control, is all about. Turns out, it's more horror than you might expect. The oldest house is a shifting place. There are rules and rituals. You can keep traveling deeper. So the Federal Bureau of Control is a secretive government agency. Um, they, they research supernatural phenomena, essentially. They go out into the world and they find altered objects or altered items or objects of power, which I will tell you more about in a minute. And they bring those back um, to the Bureau, to the oldest house, which is their headquarters. And they, they research them and try to find out why they do the things that they do. And so the oldest house itself is a place of power. It is an ever-expanding, shifting, kaleidoscoping, if you will, world within a location. So even though it looks like this big, square, brutalist tower in the middle of Manhattan, there's actually an entire world inside of it that Jesse can explore and go on adventures in. There are a lot of mysteries and secrets within the oldest house that Jesse must understand and piece together um, and make sense of in order to regain control of the building, recapture it from the Hiss, um, who have made it go out of control. And so these are archetypal symbols that guide her on her way, if you will. The Hiss is actually an otherworldly force. Um, the, the shimmer that you saw in the air, that is really the Hiss. And what it's doing is possessing and corrupting bureau agents. And so that manifests itself in many different ways. You see them floating in the air uh, like unripe fruit. You see them um, fighting Jesse in many forms. I mean, as agents, as the tempest that you saw at the end, the big brutal beast to who tore the room apart. So yeah, so um, depending on the, the agent, it can take on different forms and they'll look differently. We have tried to learn something from every project that we've done. We listen to the fans coming out of Quantum Break, which is a game that many people love and we at Remedy absolutely love. But you know, we decided this time around to um, have a less cinematic game and to have players have a more gameplay driven experience so that they can go through and sort of drive the narrative themselves through exploration, through experience, through combat, through all the other storytelling means. Um, and so while there are cinematics in the game and certainly we're trying to make the most of them, we have some plans to use them in some very exciting ways and to use them judiciously and to um, not let that be perhaps the bulk of the experience. Um, but they will absolutely be in there and hopefully be very interesting to people. Going forward, never backward. I am in control. I will find the way. I will bind you. I will bend you to my will. Yes. We really want this to be gameplay driven for players to decide what they want to do next and what that's going to look like and when they're going to do it. Um, it's certainly possible, you know, we don't have to reinvent the wheel on, on how to tell a narrative that's not linear. Those, those examples are out there. But again, we're trying to, to put our own spin on it and make it fun and interesting. And I think it's certainly possible for players to just go through the house and we want to encourage it to, to find things like the Black Pyramid and discover what they mean and, and to, to learn the story that way. And I think there's a lot of that for the people who want to play the game that way. Jessie Faden is Sam's character. Um, I, I love her so much. She's just the right character for this story, and I think that was really important to us, that when the time came along and the story was right, this was the character that we, we would create. And it has to be Jessie, um, and it has to be experienced the way she experiences it in this game. So yeah, I mean, I think the story came first, and then the character sort of arose out of the needs of what that was, and which is, I think, how it should be. Brutalism, obviously, very symmetrical, very blocky, very strong straight lines, um, has been an influence on the game. You can see its presence in the world, certainly. But that's also that symmetry you will see a lot in our cinematics and the very sort of clean lines. So that's been an influence. 
Uh, for for the writing team, for Sam and I narratively, New Weird has been our, our biggest influence. So like Vandermeer's Annihilation, for example. But that's sort of that sense of awe that you get of taking these familiar tropes that you find in science fiction and horror and speculative fiction and twisting them into something completely unexpected that feels exciting and new like nothing you've ever seen before. That's what's driving us and that's what's inspiring us. It's this whole idea of trying to, to make something that feels unexpected. The combat is challenging um, and the narrative is challenging and people should go into this expecting to really have to think a little bit about how to progress through the game and, and how, to, how to interpret things and that's what we want. The people who work on the game play other games and we try to include elements that we like or that we enjoy that we think will be helpful when we're playing ours. So yes, there absolutely is a, a Metroidvania influence in this, um, but it's also just a, another, it's a sort of a result of being in the oldest house there and Jessie's story in it. She simply doesn't have the ability to reach things and that's just how the house is and you know, that's part of the experience. After playing through Quantum Break, I wasn't sure if Remedy could make anything any more surreal, but I was wrong. Control looks ridiculous. There are so many things breaking apart and putting back together. There are people hanging in the air like rotted fruit. It's very strange, but it all looks super cool and I can't wait to see more. For more news on Control and all of the coolest games coming out of E3, keep it locked on Engadget.com all week long.